Um, quick recap. We are in Driftvale vale City. We got all of our encounters. Um, pretty decent stuff. We got the worst possible Pidgeot with not no guard and a brave nature. Um, we got a decent Gengar. We got a decent Kingdra. I would have really liked to get a Waylord, not gonna lie. And then we got a Fortress with Impish Sturdy, which is pretty nice. Would have preferred Bold, but Impish is really good. Um, yeah. This run is still... Like, I, don't, I, don't, I still don't have anything exceptional. Again, the best I have is... This is the best Blaziken I've ever had. Which is funny because it's, it was a random encounter, not a starter pick. My starter pick was Trico. Um, which is modest. <laughs> not good. Um, we have a really mid Kingler, but it's starting to get better because it's actually getting good moves now. But it's still Shell Armor Mild, like, whatever. Um, and then I'm, I'm using... I've been using Technician Hitmon on top a lot, and this thing has been fucking performing. I've, I've been really liking it. Um, and then, like, uh, Ludicolo has been pretty okay... Ampharos is really good here. Um, we also have it as a static Pokemon to get a high chance of Electrode later. That's going to be really good. And then um, Volbeat has been fantastic. Um, sassy Volbeat. Uh, really, really good. Okay. Anyway. I think it's time to head into cold storage and hopefully not run into any fucking optionals, huh? That's where my last run that was at this point with one death got fucked. <laughs> Just running into an optional. It's kind of crazy I can get to cold storage basically in two fucking streams at this point. It's pretty insane. Discord announcement, as soon as there is any mod ever, literally anywhere, there will be a Discord announcement. Bottoms unite. Well, you know. Dude, slow Volt Switch is so good. Can can Fortress get Volt Switch in this game? I think I had a Volt Switch one on attempt 16. I didn't teach it because I forgot. I guess for the next gym, it doesn't really matter. But oh, yeah, he does learn it. Okay, I'm definitely teaching this here. Can always reteach struggle bug. And we can always reteach Thunder Wave. So I have three slow volt switchers this run. That's kind of crazy, actually. If you have a Levitate Mon, you can break the AI against Mammoth Swan and never use Earthquake. Interesting. I don't have a Levitate Mon, but that's really good to know. Okay. So my Blaziken is actually good this time, so I think it'll do well on Worker Victor. Um, Rock Smash and Blaze Kick both kill, um, and Worker Victor goes to... It's Dugong, right? No, it's Mammoth Swine. Which last time outsped me. It still does by quite a bit. Okay, so this is guaranteed Earthquake. We have to switch. Yeah, Gengar is not Levitate. Pretty sure it can't be. Um, Ludi? Here? Ludi seems good. Ludi fake out into Giga Drain almost always kills. Could go expert belt. Um, am I fifty six? No. Let's go expert belt. I'm, I am slower actually. That just realized that doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, could go Gara. Or slower in Waterfall 2 shots. Rock Slide Crit does not kill, though. That's pretty decent. Hmm. 
Um... Okay. Gyarados seems like the best answer here so far. I don't think I have, do I have anything that actually outspeeds it? 118 speed. Sceptile. Typhlosion. Gengar. Sandslash. Um, should be it, right? There's no way Cobbletops does. Yeah, okay. Does Sceptile one shot? No. Life Orb? It does actually. Oh, but we die to Ice Shard, so we can't do that. Um. Typhlosion probably doesn't one shot through Thick Fat. Yeah, not even close. Um. It looks like Gera, Life Orb Gera is, nah, Life Orb Gera dies to crit, actually. And ex I'm assuming Expert Belt doesn't kill. Does it? Yeah, 56 Expert Belt kills. That seems like the best answer here, okay. You know, Leftovers Ludi. Leftovers Ludi doesn't two shot. I mean, Ludi is decent here. It takes one Earthquake and then it dies to High School Crash crit. I don't really see it, to be honest. Those leftovers just can't. Yeah, I have to remember there's Hail too, actually. Um, which kind of changes this crit dynamic, right? Now we die to the highest roll crit, but. Well, no, we actually died at a lot of rolls because we take two. Oh, yeah, he also flint. Yeah, there's also a rock slide flint to worry about. Fuck, this sucks. Maybe I want to set up rain here. With Azu? Like, do I just want to lead Azu on, um... On Glaceon, maybe? It, it makes this whole fight a lot easier. I don't see why not. It doesn't cost me anything either. It just cost me one switch, basically, and a, a team slot, but that's okay. Yeah, sand slash outspeeds. I'll check in a bit. Let's let's do this first. Okay, so I would rain dance here. This would always be it's shadow ball or earth power, which is annoying. I could go through like cacturn, but then I have a really like awkward pivoting spot. Um. How do I get zoom? How do I get Blaziken in here? Oh, wrong Glaceon. Thank you. Okay, so this is yeah. It's it's still always Earth Power Shadow Ball. It's just more damage. Um. Yeah, the only thing that pivots into this well is Cacturn, and I kind of don't want to bring Cacturn. Cactor and then baits like Blizzard and we can switch, but then we also have to worry about like freeze and shit. How did we consistently bait oh yeah with Ludi we baited we know how did we bait Shadow Ball last time? Who did I use there? Was it Grumpig? It couldn't have been Grumpig. No, because Grumpig is Dark Psychic. It takes the same damage from Earth Power and Channel Ball. Can't be. How did I force Shadow Ball? Oh no, I think I forced Shadow Ball or Blizzard on the Switch. Oh, I, I guess you could force it with Kabutops. Or something, right? Like, if you went, like... If you went, like... <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm bringing, like, four Pokemon to set up this kill. This is really dumb. I don't think it's actually worth it. Scarf isn't a thing here. Um... 
Um... Can I just pivot to someone who kills in rain, maybe? Or can Azu just kill in rain? How about that? I'm turning Tango at night. I can. It's not possible. I have way too little fucking damage. Um... Does Kingler outspeed? No. That's also just not a good switch. It's Shadow Ball or Earth Power on this switch. So... <sighs> Kingler doesn't kill in the rain. I want to get Blaziken in. But I think the only thing Blaziken comes in safely on is Shadow Ball, right? Well, I guess unless Life Orb... I can kill without Life Orb? Which I can't, because Blaze Kick is going to be powered down by rain. I would have, I would want to go Lumberry in case of Blizzard Freeze, right? Well, okay. I guess I could go through Good Sceptile, but it doesn't actually bait the Ice Shard kill. Never mind. Oh, this is so wa it's so fucking whack. Like, Blaziken and Blizzard Freeze is really bad, right? Cabotops outspeeds. Doesn't kill, though. Somehow. Should've taught fucking Stone Edge, boys. Um, I could pre-damage Sceptile. I don't know. That just means I'm bringing like two Pokemon just to set this rain up. It's really stupid. This doesn't really work at all. Um, Can I just go to Hitmontop? Yeah, I outspeed and kill. Okay, that's pretty simple. Let's do that. And that should bring in Jinx, right? Okay, so Azumarill, Rain Dance, bringing him on top. Okay. And that brings in Jinx. Psychic. Is that a guaranteed kill? Mm, sometimes. But it should it should almost always use that move. Um Okay, so what's my switch here? Could go Grumpig, I guess. Grumpig seems really good, actually. Black Glass's Dark Pulse does not kill, but it doesn't need to. Well, I, I do want to... I'm slower, so I want a one-shot, probably. So let's go Life Orb. Would really suck if I got frozen, I guess. What are my other options? I guess Cactor and Sucker Punch could work. Do I want to do that? That seems kind of nice, actually. Yeah. I'll go Yachi Berry in case something goes fucked up. I just like this because it sets up a really good pivot the next turn. Yeah, I'll just go Yachi Berry in case Spadef Drop happens. I guess it's kind of likely too, huh? Spadef Drop or Crit, and then we're dead to Blizzard, and it's a 50-50. I can then, yeah, it's, it's probably fine because Rain is also up, Blizzard can miss. I just go Yachi Berry, it's okay. I, I think this is decently safe. I just think this sets up like a really good pivot for the next turn, though. If it goes right.
Oh yeah, we, we probably don't want to close combat. True, 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 true. Um... Fake out strength just kills. Yeah. Okay, um... And then this bait's Dugong. Blaziken and Lumberry switch is kind of safe here. But it doesn't kill. I'd have to go 56. No, that doesn't do it. Again, wrong. Was that the wrong Glaceon again? Thank you. Oh, yeah, that doesn't nearly kill. Okay, so I'd have to go Expert Belt. Take out low sweep. Okay. When will the EK151 video be out? Hopefully by the end of the month. Who has my expert belt? Which one of you motherfuckers? There you go. Okay. It's Dugong off of that, right? And it wants a signal beam or ice beam. I might not do the Cactor and shit. We'll see. Maybe Lumberry Kabutops? Probably not right. Yeah, it's not nearly enough damage. Oh, wait. When does Blaziken get close combat? I'd have to go 57 here to one shot the that doesn't even work okay yeah no this is not the play signal beam or ice beam could go Kingler yeah Lumberry Kingler kind of giga shits on this actually that makes the Cactron play kind of unnecessary, though. Because that actually doesn't give me that good of a pivot. Okay, Kingler 50, well, let's go Kingler 56, so we actually, uh, I don't know if I want to put that much XP on him. That's kind of fine. So we actually, let's be Dugong. Um, I think rain should be up by this point. It's one turn for Azumarill, fake out. So it's rain dance, switch, fake out, low sweep, switch. Rain will be gone by the time Cacturn is in. This bait's Mammal Swine Earthquake, right? That's kind of good. We can still do the Gyarados play at that point. Um. 
56 expert belt gear. I only have one extra, but I have a mystic water. It's fine. Well, we get crab hammer here, actually. <laughs> Let's get rid of egg scissor, I think. Um. Solvus is not a thing in Gen 5 now. So Mystic Water here. It still plays into Rock Slide Flinch, huh? I, I don't think I actually like this. But what else can I do on the Mamoswine? Ludi seemed okay without Rain as well. You just kind of die to Icicle Crash Crit, though. What if your leftovers? Plus Fake Out, plus Protect, plus Ratio? Does that, does that even get you out of crit range? It, come, it, it gets one proc on the switch in, right? Um... And then off fake on, then off protect. That's eighteen percent recovered. That doesn't quite get you there. It doesn't quite get you completely out of range, but it's it's pretty good. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't like it. How's the sand slash? Dog shit. Okay. Cool. Um. Hmm. Coromon doesn't look interesting to me. I guess I could just go fucking Fortress, huh? What's up, Manette? Congrats, you're the first mod of the day. Can I get a Discord announcement? Thank you. <sighs> Mammoth Swine Earthquake. I don't know, the Ludi play seems okay. Are you all Leona? Um, Leona. I can't just kill with Kingdra, right? Oh, I can. But I'm slower. Um... Typhlosion is faster, but it doesn't one-shot. This thing has thick fat. Also, I have to bring it in on Earthquake. So I would have to pivot. It's kind of bad. I don't think I have access to an air balloon here. And if I did, it would just be consumed after one fight, so I probably want to save it. Um, Lefty's Protect Fortress seems really okay. It's not great though. That's really not great. Hmm. I think it just has to be Ludi. Well, 
Gold Dog isn't fast enough. I guess 58 Gold Dog outspeeds and kills, but it dies to Earthquake crit. So I'd have to pivot. Let's just do Looty, it's probably fine. Let's go 56 Looty leftovers. It also leaves it healthy, which is kind of good. We'll go leftovers here and teach it protect so it gets out of... Um, Looty learns Scald, right? I'm okay to delete prote uh, Bubble Beam here. Oh, also, wait, no, I can't. I can't protect fake up protect. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> Dude, if Azumarill got slow U turn, it would be so insane. If Azumarill just got U turn, you could like rain dance U turn in a lot of fights, it'd be super sick. Okay, I'm getting rid of what Bubble Beam here. I'm pretty sure I can learn Scald, right? Yeah, I still need answers for Warrior and Fret Frostless, but we'll get there. We will get there. If only flip turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, um... I still, I'm... Hmm. Kingler will be pretty decent HP still after dealing with a meteor mash just kills after dealing with um dugong I also have this but what does he go on Ludi does he does he go Walrein yeah he goes Walrein. I kind of just stay in on wall rain now until I'm forced out. Blizzard crit doesn't kill, and he has to hit through. I'm actually faster too. Ludicolo kind of shits on this like a lot. Um, and then I actually have a free slot to go for frost last kill. Um, wrong frost last. I don't think I have anything that actually outspeeds it. One forty three. I fast as I have is one forty septile. So I could go back to Kingler or Does Fortress one shot? No. Could go Life Warp Fortress, I guess. I don't know, man. Full HP Destiny Bond is so unlikely. Typhlosion one shots. It takes a lot of damage, though. Bug buzz into flash cannon. I'd rather just one shot. Because the Destiny Bond from full HP is so unlikely. I think Grumpick just does it, right? Yeah, Grumpig easily does it. Don't even need black glasses for it. Just go Lumberry at that point. Play around the freeze. I could T wave first. Can Grumpig learn that? That's kind of a good idea. It makes it completely safe, right? Yeah, that's perfect actually. You can always relearn Snarl. Okay. I think this is a good this is a good team for this. Should be fine. Was it Lum on King Larry? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What am I going on Azumarill? It doesn't really matter. I'll go Citrus. Okay. 
I don't like the Cacturn sack. I think Cacturn is actually not that bad. It does a lot of fucking damage in this game. It's got Sucker Punch. It's got like a good t typing for pivoting. I'm a Cactor and Andy. Yeah, Leaf Storm can like kill Holy Clay's T Tar. Isn't that what I did last time I on Clay? I mean, that 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 it's was a months. five death fight. I but <laughs> January watching this is in formation. I am. Okay. I always get confused if this is Victor or not, but this is Victor, right? I also think everyone 56 at this point is completely safe. Okay, this fight is kind of scary, but we got this. Okay, Azumarill here is just to get rid of the hail to make things easier for us. Nice crit. If you play Reverse Vintage, why would they take Gen 5 plus Pokemon and put them in Gen 3, 4? That sounds really fun. <laughs> but only if it has exclusively Gen 3 mechanics. Oh, does that exist? Okay. Fake out. Low sweep. Okay. Yep, that's Jinx. This should always be Psychic, I'm not in Blizzard range. And we can just Sucker Punch. Okay, I use Parish Song, that's fine. Don't really care. Let's try that again. Okay, it really wants to pull this combo off. It will not be able to. There we go. I'm not trapped if it dies. That'd be really busted. This should be guaranteed signal beam. I think I level- I think I, I meteor mash into- I think I just double meteor mash. Alright. No need to slow myself down with hammer arm. So this should be Mammoth Swine Earthquake. Alright. And Earthquake can put me into crit range of Icicle Shard, or will put me into crit range of Icicle Shard on Ludi here. So what we're just gonna do... Is we'll restore with Leftovers. Then we'll fake out for some more leftovers recovery. Then we'll protect for some more leftovers recovery. And now we should maybe be in some crit ranges. Let's see.
Oh, this Giga Drain is kind of a range, by the way. <laughs> but it's a really good one. If I don't hit it, it's really bad. Let's we'll see. Go jam. Um, yeah, there is no... Okay, there's three crit ranges that kill me right now. Easy peasy. Very nice. The Ludicolo Redemption arc, boys. Alright, just Giga Drain this. We're faster. Wait, does Icicle Crash flinch? I thought it had no added effect. In that case, I'm just bad. But I don't know if I had a better way to play around that uh, around that Mammoth Swine thing, because my literally only other way was Gyarados, who also had to play into a flinch. Alright, in that case, like, I think this was the best play either way. That Mammoth Swine is really hard to play into. Alright. And the safest way to deal with this is we go to Grumpig. Maybe the Garrow play was a little bit safer, I'm not sure. We're gonna Thunder Wave so we're faster. So we're guaranteed to not play into Destiny Bond. But the thing is, the Ludi also covered the wall rain, right? I don't know, I think this was probably the best way to deal with that Mammoth Swin. It was risky, but... We got there. Alright, cool. That's Worker Victor, boys. Worker Ryan is next. Just the ghost type trainer. Um... And do some optimization for the calculator real quick and teach. Does Vladimir Zelensky have lead or gigaton balls? What? I'm not answering that. What is Octazuka's base power in this game? 85? Scald is 80, right? Yeah, Scald is 80. Just teaching Scald to Golduck and Ludi, and then exporting them to the calculator. And, um, Snarl back on the pig. Can we get the Hollow Knight soundtrack without the rain sounds? Bega, how's garbage green looking, my dude? Okay. 
You're sick, Spega. You're a fucking. You're cracked. You're a fucking beast. You're absolutely popping off right now. <laughs> uh -oh. Dude, the meme of going into random Nuzlocker's channels, muting the stream immediately, typing in chat, you're absolutely popping off right now, bro, and then immediately closing the stream is so funny to me. It's my new favorite thing to, to do on Twitch. Some real Sigma behavior. Dude, if Ralligator is so on the, good on this fight now and have one. This fight is scary, man. How do we want to lead into Bennett? <laughs> Truly, and you guys also deserve praise. Um, how do- what do I usually on, do on Bennett here? It's not like there's like a very good answer. Blaziken is kind of nice because you don't have to worry about getting burned. But Blazekick doesn't kill with Life Orb. Although it doesn't really get a lot of damage done to it either. Um... I have two Dark types, right? I have Grumpig and I have Cacturn. Truly. Catherine kills four of her months with life orb. If it leads? Probably not, right? You have to get it in at some point. I guess it baits in Gengar, right? And Kecleon. Is that the sequence? Is kill something with Cacturn and then kill Gengar and Kecleon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on and miss Magius, and then you kill Gengar and Kecleon, right? Is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so can we kill... Yeah, yeah, no. That's... That's what I'm saying, you know. Okay, so can we kill Banat with something that baits Miss Magius? I guess it's the question, right? Does anyone else even have Psychic? No, so... So wait, does killing Banet with Blaziken not bait? That baits Miss Magius, right? Yeah. Wait, this is so free. Cacturn is absolutely popping off in this fight. I need a max elixir sucker punch. Hold on. Okay, we should probably do the calcs to make sure, but... Kills Kecleon. It kills Gengar, and it kills... Miss Magius. Fucking easy, okay. And it comes in on a Psychic. Super easy, okay. And then it baits in... Wait, does it bait in Kecleon before Dusclops? Because Dusclops is Fire Punch, no? Which is better than Kecleon Double Edge, right? Does it kill Clops? <laughs> no shot. Oh, it does. 
Oh, holy shit. I guess you could get will o wisp You could get will o wisp right? Yeah, I don't have Dark Pulse. But I, I do kill. I could also Leaf Storm at 57. Do I level up in the fire or do I just want a candy? I want a candy. Okay, so I Leaf Storm. Yeah, Leaf Storm is 100 accuracy, no? Yeah. It, uh, we do take recoil, that's true. What is it? We take 38 HP and recoil, and then like 30 more percent. This puts us at like 109, and we take like 30. This is totally fine. Okay, so 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 Cactron actually kills like everything. <laughs> Does it kill Lunatone? No shot, right? It kind of does. <laughs> like, Leaf Blade kills, and you're faster. Does Cactron just fucking sweep here? Holy shit. Kind of insane. Bring well, I can't only bring Cactor, and I need to lead with Blaziken. Okay. Oh, I can expedite dump too if I want to. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, it's probably a good idea. I'll just XP I'll just XP share into Gengar, fuck it. Gengar is not gonna see a lot of play. Okay. Blaze can also be 56 easily. Alright, cool. Let's dodge some fucking trainers, boys. Right after these commercial messages. Don't run into the optionals. It's all we have to do right now. It's literally the only thing. He only spins left and down. Cool. See the Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal? Um, no. But I also don't really care. Um... Wait, when was Kingdom Hearts 3 revealed? Like 15 years before it came out? Don't get too hyped, boys. Okay, this is officially my furthest one death run, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, also didn't Kingdom Hearts 3 fucking suck? Ok, 
Okay, I'm kind of taking more damage here than I thought I would be. <sighs> Got the range, though. Pretty lucky. Alright, so this is Miss Magius, and now we should be able to just set up the Cactor and Sweep. We can just go Sucker Punch. Take some Life Orb Recoil. And then we go Sucker Punch. Ooh! My sweep has been stopped dead in its tracks, boys. That's not good. All right, Leaf Storm will kill this. Let's see here. Leaf Storm will not kill Kecleon. If turtles wore clothes, do you think they would wear them over or under their shells? Okay. Sucker Punch is disabled here, and I will die to Double Edge. Okay. Um... I'm thinking Kingler. I'm Lumberry for no fucking reason. How does Gengar do here? Dude, Gengar does like no fucking damage. It's actually insane. Um. Yeah. So I can go Gengar and back to Cacturn here. Did you get April Fool this year, Jam? No. Should be still fine in terms of damage. Gengar really does get power corrupted. Yeah, this is always double edge, right? This can be Shadow Force. If it's Shadow Force, I can just switch. Uh, I'll just switch back into. I switch back to Kingler, I guess, and go from there. And then on Gengar, it should always be Shadow Sneak. Well, no, that's not true, actually. Shit, it's it's Shadow Force on Gengar as well. Poof. Yeah, the, the switch and switch back is not going to work here. Um... Is Kingler faster? It is, right? Yeah. I mean, double... I mean, knockoff, or meteor mash knockoff just kills. We don't take that much damage. Um... And there's no reason... It really sucks that I'm not leftovers. But I mean, I win. Shadow Force can kill Cactor in here. So I don't want to switch it back into that. I could just... I think I just hard Kingler. Pretty sure. I think there's a good reason to go through Gengar. This is kind of spooky now. Because I also have to deal with Lunatone. At least I can get I can't get crit here. And then we knock off. Okay, Shadow Forces. We take so much damage here. It's fine. And I have no recovery. Do I just outspeed and kill Lunatone, maybe? Oh, I totally do. Okay. 
No problem. I should have gone for Meteor Mash on the first attack on um, Kecleon. I was hoping that Knockoff plus two rolls of Recoil would kill, but I could have known that that's not the case. Right. Easy enough. Dude, Kingler is so fucking broken. Okay. The grunts here are pretty easy. Like, this Hypno is just completely walled by a Dark type. But the, I guess the hard part is playing around Wobbuffet, right? I think you just do Shed Shell strats. Or you just see if fucking Grumpy kills all of this. That's the other option. It doesn't. It doesn't need to kill Hypno and... But yeah. Oh wait, Grumpig is like so easy here. Because you just kind of take no damage and, and um, Wobbuffet can't kill you, right? Because you can't get affected by Mirror Coat. I have to go Lumberry on the Hypno, but... Pretty sure Grumpig just... ...sweeps this, right? Uh, uh, Mirror Code still can't hit Dark Types in Gen 5, right? I'm not fucking crazy. What's up, bugger? Um, just always Snarl's Dark Pulse because I have no one-shots here. Although, maybe into Calm Mind it's better to Dark Pulse and it doesn't matter, this can't damage me. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. Oh wait, um, why am I not Lumberry? I forgot. Whatever. Forgot to actually change my fucking item. Okay. Super fine. This run is like three days old. <laughs> this is a very young run.
Grumpy gets so much value on this split, man. But I, I think any like good dark type gets a lot of value on this, but it's also because I used it to beat the trainers to get to Panko, right? Nice flinch. What is the only death this run? It's a Butterfree. I feel like Butterfree could have gotten value on um, Skyla, maybe, with Rage Powder. That would have been kind of crazy. <laughs> but probably not, actually, because you just Rage Powder, you take one move, and you die, and then <laughs> everything else. I don't actually know. Uh... Okay. Do you have Kingler for any of your clay fights? I don't remember. I feel like my first one must have had a Kingler. That run was really good. Um. All right, next one is the Crawdont guy. Crawdont Melodic Lantern. Can Sceptile sweep here? Probably not. I think Sceptile's still not quite in its prime. See a life orb. Doesn't quite kill Crawdon. I could go 57. No, I can't. Okay. Um Let's look at Cactron then, huh? Cactron Life Orb Leaf Blade kills Crawdon. Kills Melodic question mark? No, it does not. It's close, though. Um, I guess I could probably just go for the two at KO. Do I need Life Orb to kill Crawdon? Not really. I can go Expert Belt. Um, and then the lantern. Oh, I can leave storm. Yeah. Okay, Cactus sweeps. Let's put Ampharos on the team. Or actually, Ludi. Just put Ludi on the team. Okay. You know what? Let's put Ampharos on the team as well. No, I don't think it's actually that good. Um. Ah, oh, fuck it. This is fine. Who cares? Expert belt, yeah. But use your blaze black run anywhere. Yes. It's on my YouTube, both the wipe compilation and the winning attempt. It's called like how I lost this Nuzlocke 49 times, and then how I beat the hardest Gen 5 Nuzlocke. Okay. 
Can't wait for the three hour How I BDK video. Right now, it looks like it'll probably be two hours long. Let's we'll take the throne as the hardest Gen 5 ROM. This is definitely harder than Blaze Black. I need to leaf storm this. 151 is scheduled to come out at the end of the month. Right now it looks like we're actually on track. Um We're just being done way faster on that video than I was expecting. We might actually have like a first draft kinda soon. Sort of. Well, that's a little bit it's a little bit much to say, but Get the range here. No, everything that I have access to is uploaded on the bot channel now. 151 will go on the bot channel like like a week after the the video uploads. Um okay, who is the third guy here have Arbok Swalot Muck? I mean <laughs> Grumpig again. Oh, Golduck is actually outsped by this Arbok. That's kind of cute. Let me just turn away so I don't accidentally activate this side. How long do Vod stay archived? I think six weeks or something? Might be longer. Three months? I don't know. Okay, do I just go for the Golduck lead, or is the Grumpik lead, is that actually faster here? No, it's Grumpik is slower than Golduck, okay. Uh, Sand Slash! Through Intimidate, can we get the kill here? Minus one on Life Orb. Oh, we just need to go Expert Belt, actually, that's super easy. Does that kill the entire team? No, it doesn't kill Swalot. Does life orb? No, it doesn't. Okay. I guess I could pivot. I mean, this is kind of safe, right? Yeah, I just pivot through, like... Fortress or some shit. It doesn't really matter. Oh, can swallow it? Yawn? No, it's recover for the only non-damaging move. Fast Sand Slash is so good. It's like not even broken. Let's bring some backup in case something goes wrong here. Golduck. Um, Kingler Grumpig. Something like that. I think this team is fine. You recommend Vintage White to play casually? Eh. It's kind of fun. 
to explore like the new type common uh, the new typings with the Pokemon and shit. It's not bad. I do not want to learn amnesia. Better than Volt White for casual play? Maybe. Just depends on if you like variety more. Or if you like a game that will only give you Gen 1 through 3 Pokemon. So this should kill through Intimidate. What's your second favorite Pokemon? It's probably Drifblim. Okay, let's just get rid of the Intimidate real quick. Top three favorite Smash players. Um, probably Light, Leon, and then maybe Elegant. Oh, I could have volt-switched, true. Doesn't matter. I don't watch Melee, so... Or I'll watch, like, top 8 of a super major in Melee. Oh, T. T is really fucking cool, yeah. I love watching T. I was expecting to kill there. Okay. Probably should have recalced that. Oh shit. Don't be dead, don't be dead, don't be dead. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I'm like gold four in league. Yeah, I should have recalc that. I just kind of assumed that I would kill. Um, okay, last trainer is the fighting type guy. Um, um Mighty Anna. I don't outspeed it. I one shot at minus one, but it doesn't do any damage to me with hip on top, that is. Let's just do that. If it got low sweep at minus one kills, it baits some. Um, Viper. I'll just go Kingler and then Fortress on the Umbreon should be fine. No. Let's go Lumberry on Kingler. I think he still has one, right? Let's swap out Golduck and Kingler though. Or let's swap out at least Golduck. Gengar is fine. Blaziken seems reasonable here. What am I calculating with here? No item. Okay, let's just go... Oh, we gotta go Lumberry. 100%. Alright. Wait, do you not have to fast during Ramadan if you're on your period? Is that true? 
I don't know anything about that shit, dude. I'm very uneducated. That's crazy. That's kind of nice. You're very uneducated about Ramadan periods or both? I feel like I know a, I have a decent basic level knowledge of periods, but I don't have very good knowledge of Ramadan at all. Being a female is punishing enough. Ain't that the truth? Dude, fucking Kingler damage, man. <laughs> Imagine this with Sheer Force and Life Orb, though, like... Bottom Kaiser will be so fun to watch you play once it's finished. If it ever gets finished, yeah. Can I one-shot here? I mean, what's he gonna do? Grass knot me? I don't think so, bucko. I actually don't one shot, okay. Um. Yeah, let's get a fortress. Sword Kaizo, if it was made. Have Maybe. A good day, Jam. Depends on the game. I'll play any fucking raw mag as long as it's well done. <laughs> like as long as it suits my needs as a player. That's not as much damage as I was expecting. Dude, fucking defense drops out the ass, too. High roll here. High roll. I can feel it. I can feel it! Ah! Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's a crit, even. That's what I felt there. Thought I felt a high roll, but it was actually a crit. Deathless Emerald Kaizo run? Well, it's possible, it's been proven to be possible if you pick your encounters. Instead of having them be random. <clears throat> but, if you're just playing with my rule set, it's pretty much impossible. And hella pre-sleep, yeah, true. <laughs> and remember guys, people that use pre-sleep strats are lesser than dogs to us, okay? Never forget that. What is pre-sleep? So, in Gen 3, what you can do... Um, if you don't feel like ever being status on a switch in, um, or your opponent using a status move on your Pokémon ever, once it first comes out, is... So, sleep... So, a Pokémon can sleep from... Um, one to four turns, right? Um, but that number actually stays persistent throughout different battles. So if you put a Pokemon to sleep before a fight, and then try to wake it up in a wild battle, and it doesn't wake up three times, right? You know it's going to wake up on the fourth ter turn, or the fifth, or whatever. I'm, my numbers are off, I don't know. Um, but basically you can make it so your Pokemon is guaranteed to wake up on the next turn in any fight that you send it in, right? As long as it's asleep. So you have this sleeping Pokemon that you know will wake up as soon as you click an attack, which means it's just immune to status the entire time. So what you can do, in theory, is you can bring an entire team full of like pre-slept Pokemon to avoid status. Um, it's really stupid. It's really dumb. I really don't like it. Because there's no reason to not do it, right?
The thing is, it's better than a free Lumberry sometimes. Um, because you can also prevent your opponent from using a status move, like, on a switch and stuff like that. Because it won't use a status move if you're asleep, right? Yeah, the reason not to do it is that it's t theoretically just a lot of hassle, but... That's not really how I like to, like, construct my rule sets. If you have Lumberry, will it consume it? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, probably if you send it in and it has a Lumberry, at the end of the turn, the Lumberry will be consumed and heal your pre-sleep. I think? I haven't thought about that yet. Yeah, okay. So it's not technically always 100% better. I'm sure there's situations where it's better if you're wearing a Lumberry, right? Um, but that's pretty rare. It's really good and really stupid. Okay. Cat of Doom 7 asks, do you remember me? I have no fucking idea who you are. Let's see. Account created January 8th, 2021, and you have five messages in my chat. How the fuck would I remember you? Fucking hell. Okay. Only ever ask me that shit if you're an actual old head. If you're here from pre-fucking... Pre-the Kotaku article days, okay? Which none of you are. So... Well, pre-EK is a big cutoff for sure. That's a big cutoff for mid-heads. But old heads... Old, old, old heads are pre-Kotaku article, okay? Remember me? Remember summer 03? I know what you did. What, when I was eight years old? Yeah, I'd probably like, shit behind my parents' couch and try to hide it or something. Pre-Blue Kaizo might be a better benchmark. That is a good benchmark. I agree with that. But pre-Kotaku article are ancient heads, okay? Those have a very special place in my heart. But I, I guess pre-Blue Kaizo was during, like, um, Storm Silver, which was, like, a which I remember pretty fondly. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, I think it's gym time.
Okay. Is it sand slash time? Oh yeah, baby. We got the we got the sand force, baby. Let's go. Let's see how much havoc we can wreak on this thing. Um, in sand. Life orb. That's a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit. There's no way we kill Armaldo though, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Wait, what is this bait though? It baits Omastar, right? Do we kill that? This seems like a really good lead. Really? That doesn't kill? Oh, that's not in sand. Boom. <laughs> oh, oh. Um. Wait. How much damage is Aquatel? It's Armaldo before Cradily, right? Aquatel is 90. Strength kills Armaldo. Let's check, I guess. Let's check. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no. Oh, and then we have to switch on up. This is still... It's a really good lead because we get two kills, but... Oh, I guess we just go Kingler on fucking Armaldo, huh? Because we're fucking cracked like that. Can I kill... Omastar with Expert Belts? Yeah, and Kabutops too. Yeah, okay. Okay, so Kingler for Almaldo, because it just completely fucking shits on it. Um, go lefties, I guess. I'll just go Citrus, fuck it. I don't want to find my, <laughs> my leftovers right now. Um, wait, what video are we linking to my chat? A Manat video, poggers. Okay. And then it's Cradily. I wouldn't be surprised if Kingler could just fucking kill it. Okay, it doesn't. What if I went Life Orb? <laughs> uh, close. Okay. Um. Yeah, just go Fortress, right? It just shits on it. Yeah, okay. Do I want to speed rain here? I think so. Because I don't know how much sand slash we'll be gaining. Any idea on what you're doing after vintage white? Um, hopefully garbage green if it's finished by then. Um, if not, then probably just your mom. Woo, yeah. All right, boys. It's time to witness the power of Sand Force Sand Slash. Any idea how to beat Clay? No, I have nothing so far. I think Sand Slash will be good. I'm probably gonna use Cacturn too. 
I might do Cacturn lead on the Tarantar again. What is my Cacturn special attack this time around? That's like six special attack IV, maybe not. Sand slash lead? Yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. Because of Intimidate on Titar, right? I guess you could fucking Volt Switch with Fortress or something, but then you're just baiting Dragon Dance, right? Thank you for the five gifted subs, by, by the way, you Ego Death. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. I got Cacturn in the fucking desert. <laughs> like a dumb fuck. I like how I got both Trico and Golduck and then got Blaziken and Cacturn. It's impossible to tell what I picked as my starter. Although, I don't know where you get Psyduck as an, as an encounter, so I guess that would lead you off. Okay, so Sand Slash has buffed speed in this game, and it's got Sand Force. So we can just kill with Earthquake here. And then we can, we can kill this with Earthquake as well. Plus one T-Tar is probably faster than Sand Slash, right? Bulldoze into Earthquake, yeah. You're taking damage though, no? Oh, I guess you're saying you just do it at, mi at minus one. It's kind of good. Because, like... Yeah, I guess you're just not taking a lot of damage from T-Tar. I don't know, maybe we could figure something out. Like, if my Volbeat was faster, it pr it's probably not, right? Um... I guess you could, like, you could, like, pre-damage something and be dead to Rock Slide. And then switch to Sand Slash, and then maybe see if you get, like, more kills that way. Like, what do you bait? You bait, like, Armaldo, right? Nah, I guess it probably doesn't work. In worst case, you're taking an EQ with Sand Slash, which is kind of fun. Hi, right, first time chatting with long time viewer. How do you feel when Nuzlocke gives you an Audino? Audino is pretty good. I like it. Especially early. It gets a lot of really good utility late game. You do like Encore shit. Encore being like one of the best moves in the game. Why well, keep counter on Fortress? I think I think sturdy counter is a legitimate strategy. Long time shitter, first time wiper.
You guys are so cringe. Alright. Very easy so far. Are you important that the opponent's Pokemon into the Calc? It's not that easy, but for Vintage White, we just had someone do it, and now we have it. Do you prefer all I know with Regen or Healer? Obviously, dude, Regenerator is one of the best abilities in the entire game. It's so insanely good. 